If this ends up playing out, we might see a $2,200 Ethereum. What's up, everybody? In today's video, we're going to be looking at Ethereum price. And right now, the crypto market is kind of unknown. And one day, it seems like we're going to the moon, and the next day, we're crashing down. But there's an indicator that's showing that we could see a price as low as $2,200. But we're going to look and see if that's actually going to come. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe and share with one of your friends if you think this is helpful. So that formation or indicator that we're talking about is an head and shoulders pattern playing out right here on the charts. Now, it's not the cleanest head and shoulders pattern I've ever seen, but we do see a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder forming right here. So if I was going to go ahead and draw out what I think the price is going to do, I have a straight line right here, and then I take the price of the top of the head all the way down to that neckline and extrapolate that out, that is where we are getting our prediction of $2,200. I wish I could give you guys a lot of bullish indicators right now, but unfortunately what we're seeing at the moment looks quite bearish. Right now we are in a symmetrical triangle pattern that we just broke bearish out of, which makes a lot of sense because if I back the chart out and let you look at it from an angle, we came bearish into a symmetrical triangle pattern. And sometimes we'll end up seeing a bullish breakout anyway, but more often than not, these symmetrical triangle patterns end up breaking to the downside, and that's exactly what we saw. To make it even worse, if I go down to the four-hourly chart, not only did we break bearish out of that support line, but this green candle that gave people a little bit of hope only came back to turn this former support into resistance, which strengthens the narrative that we're going to the downside. I talked about this a little bit on Coffee and Crypto this morning, not looking at Ethereum, but rather Bitcoin. And one of my concerns about this rally that we had on this green candle was that even though we had set up bullish RSI divergence to rally a little bit, see how high our RSI point got despite the price did not match these peak levels? This is what set up a hidden bearish RSI divergence, which is calling us to go Go to the downside. We've talked about this before, but if I go out to the weekly chart and I use my Fibonacci retracement tool, the 0.786 is a metric we must look at. Now, it's a little lower than 2200, saying 2100, but this is a measurement that potentially Ethereum is going down to touch again, which, as you guys know in technical analysis, there's never a clean level. Like, I don't really expect that the price is going to perfectly hit 2200 and then rally. It's more of a zone. And 2100 to 2200 is a fairly small zone. So could we potentially see a combination of the head and shoulders pattern and Fibonacci retracement end up playing out? The only bullish thing I could say is that we have one saving grace for the bulls. Now that is this point right here where we touched 2364 and our RSI got as low as 30. Now, at the moment, it looks like a price coming down to this level would set a lower RSI, which could potentially set up bullish RSI divergence. So I do think that this price target right here is something to keep an eye on, right there around 2361. If the bulls have a hope of changing this rally and preventing 22 or even lower, 2200 or lower on these charts, it's going to be keeping the price at around this level, maybe a little bit lower and then moving to the upside. Now, the last thing that I'll say about this video when we're looking at Ethereum is a lot of people are afraid of prices going down to 2200 or even further, but there's actually a silver lining to the cloud, which is called bullish daily RSI divergence. I've talked about this before, and many of you are probably saying, Tim, you talk about this all the time. But for the few of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain why that is so bullish. Looking right here at the daily chart, the lowest daily close that we have had during this dip is sitting right at 2400. So if I go ahead and put a line right there, let's see what that is. Now look at that corresponding point on the RSI. That same date that we hit 2400 with a daily close, our RSI got as low as 22 points. Now, why is this significant? Because 22 is a very low RSI score. But look at how close we are to this blue line in retrospect of saying how close we are to 22 on the RSI. It would not be crazy, slash it would not be the worst thing in the world if the price went ahead and had a daily close lower than 2400, which could it be 23, could it be 22, could it be 21? We don't know. But if our price went down there, I bet you the RSI does not get close to 22. In fact, it probably ends up being somewhere around 30. If this were the truth, we actually would have our daily bullish RSI divergence, where the RSI is moving up, but the price action is moving down. Now, what's significant about this divergence is it's called a strong divergence. And if you go back and look at Ethereum and Bitcoin, all of our trend changes on a major scale have a daily bullish or bearish RSI divergence that is strong. 
Not all strong divergences lead to the beginning or end of a bull or bear market. But at, and when you go back and look at the charts, every single change has one of these divergences. So again, despite the fact that maybe the next 24 to 72, maybe even next week of Ethereum looks like it could be bearish going as far as 2200, in the grand scheme of things, when you zoom out and you look at the future of your investment, it actually ends up being a bullish case. That's all I have for you guys in this video. If you liked it, again, hit the like button, hit subscribe, share it with a friend, and make sure to tune in every single day as we cover the crypto markets and let you know what you should be expecting next. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely consider subscribing because we're trying to help you become financially free in these cryptocurrency markets. And also, consider following us on Twitter, at CryptoJeb, for more updates on the price of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Peace.